Today's topic is primum non nocere or above all do no harm. Hello, I'm Dr. John. I've been studying medical management of type 2 diabetes for over 20 years. In August 2019, Medical News Today reported a study from Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota, that more and more people treated for type 2 diabetes are having a serious, potentially life-threatening complication called hypoglycemia when using blood sugar lowering medications such as insulin. Every physician, when he or she prescribes a medication, hopes that benefits outweigh risks. Sometimes it takes years or decades for benefits to be materialized. In such cases, authorities use a surrogate marker to continue the use of medication and use of insulin to treat type 2 diabetes is based on a surrogate marker called blood sugar level, lowering the blood sugar. This came about because when insulin was used to treat children with type 1 diabetic, diabetes, it was found that such treatment prolonged their lifespan and reduced complications of diabetes along with lowering blood sugar. Authorities expected the same thing to happen and same results to occur in adults with type 2 diabetes when treated with insulin. But the study done at Mayo Clinic in Rochester questions that assumption. So what I would like physicians to do is stop prescribing insulin for newly diagnosed patients with type 2 diabetes until diabetologists can prove that the long-term benefits outweigh risks compared to lifestyle changes. For those who are already on insulin, I suggest a simple lifestyle change. That is, avoid all grains and grain flour products. And you may be surprised to see that you can keep your A1C below 7 without having to use any blood sugar lowering medications including insulin. If you like this information, please like, click like and share it with anybody and everybody who is using insulin to treat type 2 diabetes because you may be saving their lives. You can follow me for more information like this on Instagram, Dr. John on Health or on Facebook, Dr. John on Health. Thank you.